I like a good scotch on the rocks, uh, a good cotton in the cigarettes, and, um, you know, Three Stooges I always found really funny. Those, those guys are like some classic comedy guys. Nothing beats a bagel with some cream cheese in the morning that is absolutely delicious. And if you get the right brand of Manischewitz to go along with it, it is just a morning from heaven. A good case of whiskey or maybe a six pack. And uh, my banjo and my pickup truck. I just want to let you know that I am not a fan of big business at all, okay? Hail, skinny jeans, Twitter. The Raiders. To you, I will describe what I think is the perfect afternoon. Smoking cigarettes with a beautiful woman while we drink some red wine and eat some baguettes with a side of cheese and crackers. And then we spend all night watching Daily Lewis movies because they really are funny. Seems like a pretty obvious question, but I love everything and anything related to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I would personally say that uh, KFC is good, though Popeye's pretty good. Uh, I had never had Bojangles, but I am willing to try it. Maybe me and my wife gorge ourselves on chocolate cake after we do some methamphetamines and bath salts. My favorite show of all time is Ed, Ed and Eddie. I used to watch a lot of these uh, edgy comedy shows, you know, stuff like South Park, Family Guy, Chappelle Show. Obviously, it formed my kind of sense of humor. Uh, I really enjoy anime. Uh, you know, I like all the classics. I grew up watching reruns of stuff like Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball and then later Dragon Ball Z. And then, of course, you get into stuff like Naruto and, uh, you know, Kill a Kill, Attack on Titan. MTV, Fallout Boy, Dane Cook, MySpace. I love everything and anything connected to Kim Possible. You want to know two TV shows I've gotten into lately? I love Hell's Kitchen, and I love Knight Rider. They're both fantastic shows, and I gotta give a shout out to my friend Shannon for getting me into them. They're just fantastic shows. I grew up watching stuff like Veggie Tales and 321 Penguins and the Larry Boy cartoon and other shows from Big Idea Productions, as well as shows like Bible Man. Obviously, since I'm just the future version of MediaWiz, I like the same stuff that he does. Ever since I was a kid, I always was interested in movies. I always watched a lot of movies, and I always wanted to like direct movies and write movies. Definitely gotten more into Pure Flix. Uh, there are films, including stuff like the God's Not Dead series. My favorite movie of all time is Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Even though it was a very shortly lived show and didn't have a whole lot of merchandise made in its name, I love everything and anything related to my life as a teenage robot. I also love Adam Sandler movies. I know they're not for everyone, but I love me some Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. And uh, uh, Don't Mess With The Zohan is an extremely underrated one, in my opinion. Country music. Don't you get me started on my damn country music. Tim McGraw, Garth Brooks, Toby Keith. Rap music. Uh, my biggest inspiration is obviously Rucka Rucka Ali. That man is a god among musicians. I would say I love anything and everything related to Powerpuff Girls, but uh, thanks to that leaked script for that upcoming CW show and the 2016 reboot, I sadly have to put an asterisk in there and say that I love everything relating to the original Powerpuff Girls show. Love Tenacious D's music. Uh, their last album, Post Apocalypto, very mediocre. But when it comes to video games, um... I don't know. I, I don't really like video gaming. Dennis Hilton, Chicago Deep Dish Pizza. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to be listing things that we like. I love everything and anything related to Invader Zim. Because it truly was the most screwed over show on Nickelodeon. Eat your heart out, M-L-A-A-T-R fanboy. I ain't much of an avid video game player, but, you know, some of the best video games out there are some of these old school ones. You know, Super Mario Bros. 3, the original Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy on Sega Genesis. Uh, Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong 64, all the rareware Donkey Kong games. Uh, Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time on SNES, that shit is my jam. I prefer PC gaming over console gaming. I'm very partial to Nintendo, and I think that's mainly because the very first console I ever had was the GameCube. I do like PlayStation the most. Whenever I would go over to my cousin's place and play PlayStation with him growing up, that was awesome. I like to watch old BreadTube videos from back in like 2018 like i am also very partial to alternative media none of that woke sheeple garbage you know stuff like fox news i love everything and anything related to steven universe 
CNN, MSNBC, uh, you know, they're a little bit more for like the Gen Xers or, you know, the, the few left-leaning boomers out there. Daily Wire, Louder with Crowder, uh, The Candace Owens Show. I'm more of a, a Vox or Vice type of person. I also dabble in the comic books. I, I'm not as avid a reader of comics as I used to be, but growing up I tried to read a lot of comic books and, you know, I tried to keep up with all that kind of stuff. I never really had a preference as to like, oh, Marvel or DC. I think I slowly started to like Doctor Who more and more, you know, just be hanging out and playing games like going out back with a rusty tin can and kicking around all over the place. You gotta get a real job. Big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. There's something about it that just kind of, kind of speaks to me, you know? I don't know what the very last movie I saw was before I was sent to the future. Wizard of Oz. Do I, do I even have to answer that question? I mean, look at the shirt and look at the hat, and I think you can tell what most fanboys and fangirls' favorite things are. After a nice long drive through the city, I would get a delicious kebab with some orange Fanta soda. Beautiful combination. And uh, end the night by watching some Jeff Dunham stand-up specials on Netflix. I like water. And nothing else.